High defense booster plus 35. It's a shame I'll never use you. Because using you would mean reducing Mag's damage, and let's be honest, that's not happening. I could have sworn he could do that when I last played him. Hey, look, we got more herbs. Yay. And then only last year? Huh. I don't know, like, I, so back when, when, when I was a kid, and I played Pokemon Final Fantasy, you name it, how on earth did you get the drop on me? But back when I was a kid and I played games, I never used buff spells, and I never used, um, debuffs on my opponents, because they never felt worthwhile. It always felt like attacking twice was better than, than buffing once and attacking once. I didn't understand the strategy behind it. Nowadays, I understand it. But at the same time, if I have a choice between increasing attack or increasing defense, I'm increasing attack. You know? Like, it never feels wor it never feels justifiable or worthwhile to increase defense at the cost of attack. I'd rather be out of the fight faster. Now, if I can increase attack and defense, it's a little bit different. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a very good question. I mean, this dungeon's going to end eventually. This dungeon's 19 floors long. I'm on floor, like, 14. So, this dungeon's not going to... Why would you defend? Mag, stop taking poison damage. Hey, look, guaranteeing crits is always a good thing. Okay, this graph is now over. Technically, this floor, this dungeon is going to be a little bit longer than 19 floors because as soon as I get to, to the 19th floor, I'm immediately going to leave the dungeon, revive Lanier, and then go back in. Which means I'm going to come back on, like, floor 18. So that's going to suck. I cannot believe this gigantic room to the east of me has only one entrance. Hey, Underlord. I, at some point, I, I keep on telling myself I'm going to, but at some point I need to actually stream Bioshock. I've been wanting to do a Balls of Steel play. Hey, Red Viper! Uh, I know Gray has a revive spell for, um, for Mag. We did it! Linear's alive again. Okay, I, I want to go, I want to go check that, that large room. Because I know there's a room there, so we're going to go check it real quick. It was very hard to get, that took multiple floors. No, we're on 413, okay. But now I don't have to leave. Hey, linear. 5701, okay. Yeah, I, I want to do a Balls of Steel playthrough. I, I did it once uh, on my own, and now I want to do it again. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was not a fan, uh, personally, of Bioshock 2. I still have it. I still have my collector's edition. It has the record still. Like, I just did not think it was as good as one. It was reasonably fun, but I definitely, like, it dragged on for a while. But, no, Balls of Steel on uh, Bioshock. So, playing on the hardest difficulty, and you turn off Vita Chambers. Nope, I have not found Recovery Hands. We have found a number of different uh, uh, parts, uh, but we have not found Recovery Hands. 
We found uh, we found energy parts. We recently found battle parts. That's the one we found in this dungeon so far. We have not found healing hands uh, or recovery hands. I would have loved to have found them because I would be using them. But right now I'm using spray hands because I have nothing else to use. Uh, how much do you need for Mega Boom Box? 72. Okay. Yeah, you, t you basically just turn off Vita Chambers. So what it ends up being is that um, if you die, you go back to your last save. So you just have to be somewhat judicious with your saves. But you're also playing on the hardest difficulty, so shit can happen at any time. She's a rare cannon to get her up. Ha ha ha, Gen 1 jokes. I tended to say fairly often, too. I just, I I am not a particularly big fan of the Vita Chamber design. I, I like Vita Chambers in the story capacity. In like, w what they actually are and kind of how that relates to the story. But um, the fact that Vita Chambers basically allowed you... Um, now that's... Okay. Appraisal item, okay. Fresh Protector is mag, I want to say? Okay. You just don't activate them? I mean, I didn't like the concept that, yeah, you have infinite revives, basically no cost. Yes, you lose the, uh, the ammo for what you spent, but the enemies stay dead. So it's not as if you really lost anything. Yep, a mag's breast is protected. That is exactly right. For some reason, whenever I, I... I remember vividly that back when I originally played this game, when I heard Breast Protector, what I actually thought was the... Uh, was a pocket protector that, like... You know, the, 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 the typical nerd thing that you put in the, the breast pocket of your shirt to stop too many pens from destroying your shirt. That's what I pictured when I, when I heard Breast Protector. I think if I had to make a guess, I think that's a bad... Uh, like, a bad translation, and it's probably supposed to be breastplate, if I had to make a guess. Because I can't, like, in context, think of anything else that was supposed to be. That would also explain why it's so much armor. Gold is a good color change. Would assume it meant bra. Well, so that's the thing. It's a uh, it's a mag only armor, I believe. You can't use it on anybody else. So bra doesn't work. Jamming pins in your shirt, yeah. I mean, I was a sheltered child, so, you know, I wouldn't have thought bra. I was about as, as sheltered as Stitch was when Stitch first saw bra. Mag could have moobs. I mean, he's really fit, and he's also, like, 15, so I'm not so sure about that one. You know nothing about this game? It's a dungeon-crawling RPG. What you are seeing now is 90% of the gameplay. But one of the things about the armor is that uh, most armors that fit into literally any slot, doesn't matter, head, body, or feet, most of the armor um, is specific to one character. There are exceptions. Some armors can be used in different characters. Uh, but most armor is specific to one. So, for example, uh, Mag is the only one who can wear the leather jacket. Uh, unless, maybe Pepper can also wear it. Maybe Chain can also wear it, now that I think about it. But of my current party members, only Mag can wear the leather jacket. And because Linear is female, and Mag's the only one that can wear the breast protector, pretty sure it ain't bra. But another thing about this game is that this game has some pretty egregious uh, mistranslations in certain places. So when you see something <clears throat> like breast protector, it doesn't make much sense. Odds are reasonably good that there was a translation error somewhere.
rather than that's what they actually intended it to be. Ow. Monster Rancher? Well, that's not happening. Uh, I don't know about Monster Rancher. I, I never got into the cartoon when I was a kid. But the problem is I have way too many games to play right now. I just, I actually lost track of time. I didn't realize that the Pokemon um, expansion comes out in a week. Yeah, the show was very much trying to be Digimon. And Digimon was very much we're trying to be Pokemon, let's be fair. Uh, or we're trying to, we're trying to be Pokemon without being Pokemon. Let's put it that way. Uh, the Pokemon expansion is going to be adding a bunch of Pokemon, a brand new area that's open world, a new minor storyline. It, it's kind of, it's the first of two expansions that are basically the, uh, the Pokemon, instead of doing a third game. Uh, mini DLC, it's not mini from what it looks like. They're, they're, the from the previews they have shown the D, the DLC is like an extra quarter of what Sword and Shield already were, or an extra third of what Sword and Shield already were. I've been looking forward to it for a while. Well, it's actually going to be two different expansions. We're getting the first one now; the next one's uh, in the winter. I'm actually looking forward to both. I just don't know when I'm going to do them. Because, uh... Yeah, it, it's supposed to be a lot of content. A new... Uh, I think it was supposed to be more than two new legendaries. It's at least three new legendaries. Because technically, the Pokemon they give you... No, this is I Isle of Armor. Sorry, this isn't the, um... This isn't the, the, the Kung Fu one. This is Isle of Armor. Maybe it is two new legendaries. I thought it was more than two, though. How's things going for me, uh, real life? Not bad. Um, you know, got my review at work, and uh, I try not to talk about work much because my, my thoughts on work are a little bit meh. But uh, got my review, and the problem is my review out of four, one being the uh, worst and four being the best, I got a three, which last year I got the same thing. And three last year was, sorry, it wasn't a four, you're not getting a raise. So, there was no talk about, like, getting a raise, and then immediately after we had the conversation said, well, by the way, um, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be talking about merit increases in August, so keep an ear out for that. It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> I'll see you later, Baze. I'm still streaming fairly regularly. My stream schedule's been bad the past month and a half, two months, but, uh, still streaming fairly regularly, so keep an eye out. It's been good to see you. So, when that's happening, uh, my mom broke her leg. She just, uh... She just had surgery on it yesterday, so now she's on the mend, so we're kind of keeping an eye out for that. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of going on. Not much else, though. Uh, New Orleans, I think they finally lifted... They're finally starting to lift the lockdown down here in New Orleans, but most of the stuff that I would do is still closed and locked. So I'm still not doing anything. Oh, Rose is just fine. She spent... Uh, my, dog's, my dog just spent uh, you know most of the stream in my lap. Hope she heals fast. It's going to be like four to eight weeks. It's going to be a while. And then, uh, because, or six to eight weeks uh, from now. And also because she's off her leg so long, I'm expecting there to be uh, uh, physical therapy as well. And my, my dog's doing fine. She spent uh, the majority of the stream so far in my lap, uh, which is pretty normal for her. Uh, she, she kind of learned the wonders of fetch today, which was hysterical because I don't think she's ever figured out that fetch is fun before. In three and a half years that I've had her. Or two and a half years that I've had her. Three and a half years of life. So, uh, she's, uh, she's learning, um, she's learning that. Oh, yeah. I was, I was checking on her earlier today. She's sleeping. Her, uh, the meds make her very loopy. Um, and I've been on that level of pain meds before. So, I know it's very hard to kind of keep your, you know, keep your eyes open. Keep your mind going the way it's supposed to be. So, that's going on. But, I mean, not really... 
a tremendous amount going on in my direction. Um, we had internet issues, which has caused me to have trouble doing this. Do I play Dungeons and Dragons? I did for a while. I need to get a new playgroup because unfortunately all of my playgroups have dried up. Um, but I love playing D&D. I mean, I love playing pen and paper stuff in general. Uh, I really enjoy the... Uh, I'm, I'm the player who really enjoys the in-character uh, role play. So I'm the one who goes and talks to all of the NPCs. And I really dig into my character's backstory. And uh, uh, I really love making stories more than anything. So I enjoy doing it a lot. I just have to find that. Do I play 5e or Pathfinder? So I play a lot of 5e. That's the really the main system that I've played up until uh, now. Um, I haven't played Pathfinder. I've played some Starfinder. I've played Starts Without Numbers, uh, Planet Mercenary. Um, what else have I touched? There was some... I'd have to go open my open my folder of information. I play as the... Uh, I don't always play as the face. I have played as the face. And uh, because I find that a lot of the players I play with do not want to be the party face... Um, but I played the face both as a, uh, I played the bard once. I've, so far, because I've not played a lot of, like, I haven't got a chance to play a lot of campaigns or a lot of D&D, &D, so every time I get into a new game, I've tried to make an effort to play a class or something like that that I haven't played before. Um, so I've played bard exactly once, which was a lot of fun, because I also was very specifically trying to, uh, play a... The idea was to play a bard who looks like the typical bard from from outward purposes. So the idea was he was a womanizer, very quick on wordplay, things like that. Um, but the the actual like backstory of it was that he uh, was actually selling his body. He was more a prostitute than anything. And the money was going to pay for his sister's schooling. So it was kind of, it was meant to look like a typical bard, but eventually it would turn out that he's not. Uh, unfortunately, we never got to that point. Um, yeah, no, Lydia has stupid levels of, uh, of FP. That's why I wasn't worried about her. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, Starfinder, uh, there's also Fantasy Craft. We at least started making a game for that. We just didn't get to finish playing it. Um, yeah, I played a lot of good stuff. I'm not, I'm not sure what your, uh, what you say what's my favorite is. Are you asking what my favorite system is? Or are you asking what my favorite type of character to play is? I also played party face as a uh, as a druid. I don't know how I was the party face as the druid. Um, I, I didn't stay the face for a while, but I was I was I was a very broody druid uh, for a while, and uh, then I became a paladin. Was very much the face for some time. It was a lot of fun. Um, my favorite system. So I haven't played a lot of them. Uh, the so it's a really hard answer to give you. Because they all have brought something to the table that was very interesting. Right now, I think I'm. Uh, it's a toss-up for me right now between uh, between Five E and um, like Five E Starfinder and Planet Mercenary. Five E, I really like a lot of the concepts it brings forth. I like uh, a lot of the fun it does and uh, how it's structured. Um, Starfinder gave me a lot of customization options and had a lot of very interesting stuff to pl to do. Uh, lots of ways to play and interesting things. Uh, and then uh, Planet Mercenary is very fun for building a story. Uh, and I'm, as I said, I, I'm a, I'm a role-playing uh, player. I am a character and storyline-based player, so I want to build the story. Uh, so wh whatever whatever's going to let me do that, to build a character, sink into them, and start doing stuff. Uh, but, uh... I do all sorts of stuff. Uh, I just got introduced to uh, to Arkham Horror uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was a lot of fun. Not really a you know not not really a pen and paper, but that was an awesome tabletop to play. Um, I'm playing some Star Wars uh, pseudo pen and paper right now with friends. Um, it is a campaign, but you don't really. It is a campaign. You do level up and get equipment, but you're not really in charge. You choose a character to play as, and there's a path they take. I'm trying that. There's a lot of different fun stuff to do. I just gotta... Most of the groups I've tried to be joining with just continuous scheduling issues. 
So I'm trying to find a uh, group that will actually be able to keep playing, who also kind of plays the way I want to play. And I think that's the hardest thing right now. I have never heard of Dead of Winter. That one's new to me. Unfortunately, I've told most of my fun uh, D&D stories on stream before. And I'm, I'm trying not to retell all the stories because they'll get boring to people who've already heard them. I'm just going to end this one real quick and move on. But for me, it's I, I love building the story. And I love I really love being able to walk away from a session with a fun story to tell. Those fun stories get people to play with you. People are more interested in playing when you have a story to tell them. But also, there are just the times when you get to be a badass, and you get to kind of, you know, you, you get that in a way that in a lot of a lot of other uh, genres do not actually give you. I've heard I've heard Pathfinder has a lot of character customization. I've heard great things about it. Starfinder is just Pathfinder in space. Have I seen the PS5 video? I have not. I've been, I've been kind of not paying any attention to the PS5 or the. Uh, or whatever the hell the new Xbox is. Um, I don't know if I will buy one. At least, very much not at launch, but I don't know if I will buy one. You know, I'm, I'm looking at my... I'm looking right now at my PlayStation... Okay, deepest part. We are finally on the final floor. 16. Um, but I'm, I'm very much looking at uh, my Xbox uh, One and my PS4. And uh, they are... Uh, they're very much collecting dust. They are, they're not getting played. There, there's nothing to play on them. Um, okay, rephrase. There's nothing for me to play on them, because I know that that phrase pisses people off. Um, but there's nothing for me to play on them. Which, I don't want to buy another system that I'm not going to play. Oh, is Dead of Winter anything like Project Winter? It's about zombies. Okay, different game. Uh, custom. High speed. Hey, Matt, go faster. All of a sudden, Mag does things. Uh, strength spell. Everybody deal more damage. In other words, Mag deal more damage. We take the preview. I have not paid any attention. Like I, I have, I heard the preview got not got pushed back. Didn't pay much attention to it. But uh, darn it, that's irritating. That's really irritating. Okay, Gray's turn is not coming up yet. That's fine. Hey, let's hit this thing really hard. Mostly just to use up the TP. Not bad. Uh, okay. Let's... Oh, no, I need to... Stats recovery... Store confusion. So the the big you can yeah you can tell me if you like. Uh, mag only type rouse. Hey mag, do more damage. New ratchet and clank. So the new ratchet and clank may get me to purchase. We'll see. Uh, I think one of the one of the big things for me is that I need to start seeing more than just one or two games that I'm gonna play. Looking up at my shelf, I have like six Xbox One games and five PS4 games, and that's really not a lot for a system that would have cost me like three or four hundred dollars. 
I'm just not prepared to drop that much cash. Uh... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here, Mag. You go first. I'm just not prepared to drop that much cash and not actually see uh see enough games out of it. I also end up playing my PC more than I play anything else. And I don't end up playing console stuff as much. I, I enjoy support classes a lot. I'm right there with you. I really enjoy playing tanks and, and uh, tanks and healers and supports. It's sometimes fun to post up the big numbers. Um, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? You know what? I'm just going to knock out man, do I want it do I want to use that <laughs> fine let's knock out dexterity spell real quick I mean I definitely enjoy asynchronous types of gameplay I really enjoy games where uh not all characters are necessarily on the same um restore status interesting um I definitely enjoy uh enjoy stuff that you're not necessarily on the same um win condition as your friends. I mean, I was still a store manager of uh, of GameStop, you know, two and a half years ago. Later, Link. Have fun. I was still a store manager, you know, two and a half years ago. So, uh, I got, you know, a free Xbox One, a free PS4, a free Switch. So, I have them all. Uh, the Switch is the one that's actually getting attention right now. You know, last Xbox One game I played was... Uh, Okay, there it goes. Last Xbox One game I played was uh, Ori, and I couldn't even tell you the last game I played before that. I think I played Sunset Overdrive, and I don't know what the previous game was that was actually reasonably recent. And on the PS4, I think it was Kingdom Hearts 3 and Ace Combat 7, and both of those I know are last year games. Ever played Bloodstained? I keep on hearing good things about it. I need to play it at some point, but it hasn't... Um, it, it's on my radar, but not a high priority. I don't believe what I'm seeing. A fire burning inside this jewel. But how? Now I finished the assignment. It's so hot here. At least it's better than the cold, though. Now it's, he now it's head back to the society. You did it! You cleared the ruins. Congratulations! You've been doing very well. You're showing so much promise now. Me, really? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. By the way, I calculated your prize money for this adventure, and it comes down to about 30,000 boon bucks. Okay. Take that money and pay off our debt. All right, I'll use Mag's share to repay what you owe. So leaves you in debt. And this time, we get 6,000 boon bucks for us. Thank you for the dosh. Okay, Gray's gonna go home. What do you have to say about Gray today? Nope, society's just closed for the day. Okay. She's not gonna hit on Gray. I find something unusual? Uh, please, uh, mm. Okay, sell those. I'll be back. You understood that reference? Good. I'll probably play it eventually. Um, the, the problem is that there's, there's a decent amount of games I kinda wanna play. But none of them are high enough to make me want to uh, not play the things I am actively playing. 